with a message. Two wrongs don't make no right. When you're wrong, you gotta fix it. So with that being said, Gail King, I publicly tore you down by coming at you in a derogatory manner based off of emotions, me being angry at questions that you asked. Um, overreacted. I should have handled it way different than that. Uh, I was raised way better than that. So I would like to apologize to you publicly for the language that I used and calling you out of your name and just being disrespectful. I didn't mean for it to be like that. I was just expressing myself for a friend that wasn't here to defend himself. Um, a lot of people look up to me and they love me and they appreciate me, so I want to let them know that. Anytime you mess up, it's okay to fix it. It's okay to man up and say that you're wrong. I apologize. Hopefully we can sit down and talk privately. Have a good day. Okay, man, you just seen Snoop Dogg apologize to Gil King. Let's talk about it. We back. Good for the sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Best way to help the channel out. Check our music entertainment playlist for more videos like this. And them people told Snoop to apologize. That's just what it boiled down to. We talking about CBS and what was it the four or five families that run America and, Amer and American media, um, and, and shit, world media. Um, so if Snoop didn't apologize, you know, there's no telling what would have happened to Snoop either. Probably the best case scenario is he would have had a sale uh, right next to Bill Cosby. All right. Um, but hey, you know, when you got all these brand deals and you got a TV show with Martha Stewart and you know, you on, you know, you got all these different, you know, endorsements that you're doing. You can't really be super uh, Afrocentric or pro-black. It's just impossible to to be on major TV and 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 you know be corporate. Even if you corporate thugging, you can't be black. You could be corporate thugging and 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 selling drugs, and they wouldn't care. But once you start trying to uplift and galvanize black people, that's this is what happens. You know what I'm saying? This is what happens. You can't trust. Nobody being black on, on mainstream TV or in or corporate America. Nobody in Hollywood, music entertainment, nothing. You know, did he want to apologize to Gail King? No, he didn't. He came back and he clarified the first time. Oh, I didn't mean no harm. I was just saying basically cyberbullier. That's what I meant by get him. Now that he was, they was like, well, that ain't good enough. CBS is the plug. They was like, okay, Snoop, don't apologize if you want to. You're going to come up missing. And Snoop had to apologize. He had too much going on. Then he was going to start hearing things leak out about Snoop. Oh, Snoop touched me. Or Snoop did this to me. Or Snoop did that to me. That's what it's about. You know, people say, well, why would they go out there for Gil? Gil is, is an Oreo, all right? She's a, a figure, a public figure here. But, you know, it is what it is. Was I heart, was heartbroken to hear him apologize? Absolutely. But what they turned that into was a feminist versus a male thing. And that's never what it was about, but... Like I said before, all your black leaders got to be, you know, they can't be through corporate America. They can't have a television deal. They can't, they can't be corporate. All right. They can't, you can't trust a corporate, uh, a, a, a pro black person. It's just, it's a conflict of interest. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you really kind of gotta be, you know, independent, but they know the new media got a lot of power. You know what I'm saying? They know small media got a lot of power and, and what we was doing, we was felt. And they had to stop the guy that started to galvanize uh, the media and the black people. And that's Snoop. And once Snoop, they figure Snoop, you know, they get Snoop to apologize. That'll put the fire out. But, uh, you know, basically, if they just basically would have just, you know, let it run its course, black people was going to forget. But you see all these cops kill these innocent black people and they don't never apologize. You know what I'm saying? I heard my mans, I was listening to Hassan Campbell talk about the brother that went into the, the Bronx uh, precinct and stuff and did what he did. And when you think about all the people he named, the guys in New York that was selling cigarettes, Trayvon Martin, even though that wasn't by a cop, and the dude that went down there was in South Carolina and, and shot up the church, and you know, um, you know, Eric Gardner situation, uh, you know, you look at all these different situations, Sandra Bland, not once did they apologize for what they done. Not once. You kill a you kill a brother, you ain't got to apologize. But hey, when it comes down to this, we always gotta apologize. You know. We always got to apologize until we stand up and, and move in, in unity. And we say we had enough. Then I think that'll be the day, you know, where we don't have to apologize no more. and Realize that we really are the kings and queens uh, of this planet. But, you know, for Snoop, Snoop had no other choice. That's just the bottom line. If Snoop didn't apologize, you was going to see him in the same light as Cuba Gooden Jr. And, and Bill Cosby. Or you may see him come up missing. 
He would have lost endorsements. Watch, I'm gonna tell you, watch how the stories would have would have rolled out. They probably would have waited a minute, like everything all good, and then all of a sudden, breaking news: Snoop Dogg has, you know, uh, they would have did a, uh, you know, the whatever the show they call with R. Kelly. They would have did that, and they would have had black people, you know, basically publicly lynching Snoop Dogg. What should I tell you? Black people would have did the groundwork. The white people or or the people would have started the the momentum rolling. We would have did the we would have did the the actual lynching on social media. We would have did the actual lynching in reality. We would have took Snoop Dogg out. So you know what Snoop Dogg did? He protected his best interest. He protected his family because um, they would have came out there telling lies, stuff about Snoop, and the very same people that would have bought it would have been black people. I told you Snoop was this and Snoop was that. I believe it too. And they, they could have went that wrong. Snoop just said, you know what? I was wrong. I'm going to issue a real apology to Gail King. You know, we move on from it. You know, it's unfortunate that we always got to apologize. You know, we still apologizing for slavery. You know what I'm saying? We we apologize for everything that go on, man. Any little thing we do, look at Jesse, Jesse Smollett. They just won't let it go. They won't let it go. Same thing with Michael Vick. They was going to dismiss the charges. Them people went to the feds to get them charged. When they come to us, they spare no means. They spare no 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 amount of money to, to to make us apologize or to convict us or get us. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, quiet response. If you have any questions, keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel? That link's in the description.